Hello everyone, this is Jason. Today I'm excited to show you how to use ChatGPT as your ultimate language companion. I know many of you use ChatGPT for coding, debugging, or even generating stunning images. It can generate images instantly based on the description you provide. So it understands your language. Can we use it to teach us another language? The answer is definitely yes. Since ChatGPT is built on advanced language models, it can serve as a walking dictionary, providing instant definitions, pronunciations, and synonyms, as long as you define the rules for ChatGPT. And the best part is that you can turn it into a personal response coach guiding you to craft just the right replies and even proofreading your messages. Okay, you may wonder how to do that. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. First, you log into your ChatGPT account and then across the top in the upper right hand corner, you see your account icon here. You enter the function page, choose Customize ChatGPT. A dialog pops up. Here is how the magic works. You can leave the first box empty, and then in this box, how would you like ChatGPT respond? You copy and paste the prompts I made for you. You can find the prompts below the video. You click on Save. After you successfully do that, ChatGPT will then answer you in a totally different way. Now refresh your window and start a new chat. If you don't want to record chats, you can activate temporary chat. You just simply check the box here. Now you can start your walking dictionary. Let's get ChatGPT the first command, forward slash start. You see, here's the first response from the ChatGPT. Because in the prompts, I asked ChatGPT to show the instruction first. So you will see a list of commands. These commands are set by me so that I can use abbreviation to communicate with ChatGPT and then get the results I want. Let's try a word. So let's try the word. For example, let's try consensus. All right, so forward slash DE, DE means define. So give me the definition of the word consensus. Okay, let's see how ChatGPT respond. Well, I'll give you the definition, right? Okay, uh, English, Chinese, and it also give you some collocations. Okay, and how people use words together, like a reach a consensus, build a consensus, achieve consensus, right? Okay, and give you some examples. This is very good. Let's try another command. A lot of people are confused with two words, grant and subsidy. So let's ask ChatGPT to differentiate these two words for us. So like uh, DIF, okay, tell me the differences, grant, subsidy, here we go. Okay, so you can see instantly, well, ChatGPT give you some Examples with definition, collocation. Wow, so good, right? So I think if you need this kind of uh, explanations, the ChatGPT is very good at explaining the differences, right? And also especially it provides you with clear examples to help you understand. And I think at the end of this, it also provides you the major differences, okay? So this is actually a very good illustration how we can use ChatGPT to tell us uh, the differences between two words. Finally, let's take a look at the 10 commands that I set for you to interact with ChatGPT. The first command is forward slash DE. DE stands for define. So I want ChatGPT to look up a word for me so including pronunciation, definition, examples, and collocations. Number two, RE, RE means replied or respond. 
So ask ChatGPT to provide colloquial responses to the question or a statement. Number three, synonym. Synonyms are important. Sometimes we don't want to use the word again and again. So give me synonyms with examples. Number four is SIM. SIM stands for similar expressions. Sometimes you want to encourage people like a good job, right? So you can try. Can you give me uh, some similar expressions you know, of good job? So you just forward slash SIM space and good job, okay? So try it yourself. Number five, PF means proofread. So I want ChatGPT to proofread a message with explanation and highlights uh, the changes in the words or the meaning. Number six is DIF. DIF means, means compare nuances between words. Sometimes words are very similar, and, but we use words in different situations. So we want to know when it's the proper word for some situation. So you can ask ChatGPT to do that for you. Next is AN. AN stands for analyze. If you want to remember a word better, by knowing its prefix, roots, and suffix, it's pretty much like knowing Chinese radicals, bu shou. So that can help you to remember a word better with its meaning and also learn its parts of speech. Part of speech means xin. Next one is TR. TR stands for translate. Sometimes we're at loss for words. You know how to say that in Chinese, but you may not know how to say that in English, right? So you can ask ChatGPT to help out with the translation. For example, Chinese idiom, fo. Do you know how to say that in English? Maybe you can try to describe the situation in detail and see if you can actually get the right expressions. Ask ChatGPT to give you some similar expression in English to describe this kind of situation. Try it yourself. Number nine is PR. PR stands for pronounce or pronunciation. That means you ask ChatGPT to help you out with the pronunciation of the certain word using international phonetic alphabet. That means IPA phonetic symbols. So if you're not certain about the stress or the vowel of certain word, you can either use an online dictionary like a Cambridge dictionary or ChatGPT to help you out. All right, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might find it helpful. Feel free to leave your comments below about your own experiments. See you next time.